And thank you so much to our speakers. Um, thank you for our audience for sticking with us and thanks for your patience around all our little imperfections today. But I think all in all, um, it's it's been a great day. It's actually for me, I feel it's kind of impossible to come in after so many inspiring talks uh, today and I suppose to have any kind of an impact at this hour of the day. But uh, we certainly had some fantastic, inspiring talks and some wonderful video contributions. And I think what we really miss is the applause in all of this. If any webinar or conference is worth listening back to, and let's face it, we probably have so many at this stage that we've promised we will reflect on when we get a chance. Please listen back to this one. Let this be the one. It's totally rich with energy and inspiration. It offers so many tips on immediate impact, on long term planning. There's plenty of opportunities to be followed through on, plenty of concepts, whether you're from further education and training or higher education. Please prioritize this recording uh, just before you reach your holiday limit, uh, as I think many of us are very close to that limit and certainly webinar fatigue is a, is a huge part of that, particularly for our staff and students uh, and those staff that are still with us. So I suppose partnership is, is a really important strategic imperative for QQI. And I have to say, um, maybe I'm biased, but I do think uh, we're flourishing in this approach. And um, we're delighted to bring two powerful initiatives together today to team up to demonstrate, and three when we add in uh, USI as well. QQI has benefited and multiplied effort oh, so many times over and impact when partnering up with Student Survey. USI student representatives and of course the NSTEP programme, which we're happy to steer with our partners in the Higher Education Authority. All of these initiatives and engagements keep us as an agency very close to the reality of how things are acting, you know, acting out on the ground, how they're faring out on the front line as we refer to it now. Uh, but of course, it's it's not all about the students because we also have to enable and ensure, as many of the speakers have said, that staff are recognised as an essential element of this genuine, legitimate partnership. And I suppose this is the happy union we're trying to achieve and trying to support today. Um, support for both is, is still required um, ongoing. Um, many of the speakers have referenced the leadership of Oisín, Siobhan, Lorna and Kevin. Uh, today, but I can truly say I have witnessed this leadership firsthand on so many occasions and I am completely in awe of them. What more can I say? They're, they were impressive before COVID, but during this unprecedented trying time for everybody, they have been absolutely outstanding. I'm, I'm just amazed um, every time I engage with them and as have many of our students and, and staff trying to cope uh, during this time. Just maybe just to reflect on some of the earlier comments um, and I suppose concepts that uh, just to reiterate some of what was said. Lorna, I think, started us off by talking about meaningful student engagement, genuine partnership. And I suppose the QQI executive, we, we definitely have an opportunity to see that front line genuine partnership. As Mairead said, there's plenty of opportunities to report into us. But when we go out to talk to institutions, I think, uh, you know, the, the partnership Richter scale is definitely evident. The empowerment in partnership, completely and utterly believe in this. Partnership is truly empowerment. And I suppose as a, as a quality assurance and qualifications authority, it's worked so effectively to multiply our own efforts with such partnerships, um, NSTEP and, and others uh, amongst them. The end step, of course, is, is the epitome of that partnership between staff and students, and it is a great initiative. It's proving to be quite successful for those who have taken it up and run with it. And of course, the data from the student survey is the essential fuel for this really important partnership to be much more effective. And I mean, there is lots of talk about co-creation as well. I think in the current context, um, we, we can see that students are now in the space of co-creators. That is, of course, if we listen to them uh, and, and take action and realise and, and recognise this, that this is actually where we are to make most of our progress. As Lauren has said, we can't actually risk missing out on some of the great opportunities, and I completely agree with this. Um, Sophia and Lucy, uh, fantastic 
piece on the provocative partnerships. And of course, yes, the dynamic created by students coming forward should be provocative. Of course it should. The, the co-creation concept, as, as our last two speakers have also referenced, is, is really um, a place where we want to see everybody moving forward. The poetic dialogue, uh, what a creative and accessible approach and the sheer power of partnership coming through there again, understanding um, the power play in that partnership. Together we can make it each and other, each and other more, more powerful. Yes, it's impressive and impactful when we work together. Genuine, legitimate partnership. Couldn't agree with Sophia and Lucy more. I could have listened to them forever. I think I'll definitely be purchasing their book on the power of partnerships. Um, and I suppose when Hillary said that she hopes students are as essential to us as they are to her, I think we all agree that students and listening to students and engaging them is, is a most productive um, and essential uh, piece for all of us to understand. Um, if we're no longer students, watch out for the humanity factors. Of course, this is a different context. Everybody has different uh, uh, humanity factors and also growing up in, in such a different world these days, I think um, uh, the humanity factors are something that we all need to, to keep in mind. Students are better uh, role models than professors. Now, that's not something that I'm saying. I'm obviously quoting Serge there and thank you for that statement. I suppose that that has actually made me think about, yeah, you know, I, I probably have said that to myself on a few occasions. We've seen quite impactful student contributions turn around uh, the outcomes of so many certainly quality assurance activities over the years and I think many of my colleagues in QQI would agree with that on the direction of policies strategic input at governance level for institutions changing a panel an expert panel perspective during all sorts of accreditation activities including research winning a panel over during an institutional review and turning it around for an institution and more recently, um, my own personal experience in chairing a European review of an international quality assurance agency, the student member led many of those sessions and I would have gladly allowed him to chair it as well. So, you know, students are better role models than professors. There's definitely something there. Um, maybe just to say in my own personal experience, I have to say I have found engaging with students as being one of the most productive parts of my role in my organization and also in the legacy agencies that I've worked for. It's energizing, it's invigorating, it's real. It always leads to productive outcomes and I think it typifies innovation that's waiting for all of us on our own doorstep if we use it properly. That includes agencies, government departments, it includes representative bodies and of course providers. So um, let's let's consider how we can use that. Um, there's too much else to go over again, except just to, to thank our speakers again. Thanks again to Oshin and Siobhan, again, showing your leadership uh, in bringing this conference together. Uh, also to Lorna and Kevin for, for backing us on this. And also to all of you for keeping us closer to the stars, as Serge has said earlier. Uh, thanks also to Laura, uh, who's really helped pull all, all of this together today and other QQI colleagues. It's been quite the production, even though uh, the participants may not see it. Uh, thanks to Louise, Luke, Duncan and Alison, Mairead and Sue. They've all worked very long and hard to bring this event to you. And uh, thanks again to our very impressive audience at this stage. Um, we hope really to bring our speakers back uh, so that you can hear more about their efforts and to keep this as a very live uh, topic on the agenda going forward as far as QQI is concerned. So let's all go much, much further together in this empowering partnership and make it work for everybody. And don't forget to watch out uh, for the student engagement framework. Thank you very much.